Okay, let's talk about cable certification. So Softing has a certifier. We've had a certifier for a very long time. This tester has been out for a decade or so on the market and it's really just a workhorse. It does everything you ask of it. It'll certify category 6A. It even can certify cat eight. Really everybody's worried about certifying cat six and 6A. So let's just take some quick, simple test here and show you what's going on. This is the local unit, which will be at one side of the cable. The remote unit will be on the opposite side of the cable. And a certification test does a really deep test of the cable and it tests for crosstalk and resistance and insertion loss, about 10 or 12 different parameters on each test to make sure that that cable is performing as expected. When you get a certification result, cable manufacturers have a ton of confidence that that cable is going to perform correctly for years and years. And that's really the value of it. Our test set has a lot of value because you can see the information on both ends of the tester. So if I've got one person over here operating the main unit and another person over here operating the remote unit, they can both see what's going on. And that's a big deal. So you can see right now, I'm set up to do a category 6A test. Let's change that real quick. In the background, I'm connected on a cable that we want to test, but I wanna change this from a CAT 6A to a CAT 6. This is something that happens all the time in certification testing. So I'm gonna go into the test settings. I'm gonna choose my test limit and I'm gonna choose TIA and I'm gonna go down from category 6A, remember that's what was chosen, to category six. And as soon as I make that change, look what happens over here at the remote unit. The devices are talking to each other over the cable. So you've got a team effort to do the correct type of testing. And that's, again, a big deal for technicians. You're on the same page because both technicians can see what's happening. You both can now see that you're about to do a category six permanent link test. Let's just do the test now. I've got a label chosen. I've got a cable type chosen. Let's just test and I can do that by just hitting the auto test button. And on this tester, 10 seconds later, I'm gonna have a result. There we go. So let's dig into this result and look to see what we have. First off, it's a pass. And I can see that on both testers. So from the patch panel side, I can see I've got a pass. From the work outlet side, I can see I've got a pass. I can see the port number or the, the test that I just did. I can even see the test that I'm about to do on the next cable. If I wanna dig into the cable, I can see all the reasons for my pass or a fail. In this situation, again, it's a pass. I can look at the individual parameter values and it's gonna show you all those details. I can see that I did a frequency sweep here up to 250 megahertz, which is for category six. I can see all those details. I can even see all of the parameters stacked up and their worst performing value in each of those areas, which again, I'm still very happy with because I've got a result or I've got a pass and I can just save that result. Let's save it from the remote side because I can, and I can actually change my label. So I'm gonna hit the save button here. I'm gonna go into this and let's say that it wasn't supposed to be port 38. I'm gonna click onto this and I'm gonna change this to port 35. I'm gonna hit the check mark and I'm gonna save it. And that quick, I've now saved my result. You can see the result being saved over here. It now says port 35. I've got a team effort in certification testing. I'm getting paid for my cables that I'm testing and I'm doing that quicker because I've got two people able to work clearly from the wire expert tester.